I guarantee you, using the tools that you're currently using, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. So in this video, I'm going to show you how using TubeBuddy and another one called TubeRanker, you can make a lot of money in your business. Now, here's what I mean. Because we have been told that the only way to use these is to rank our videos in and on YouTube. But if we think about this, we're not thinking about the business as a whole. The business as a whole could include the media part, which is your YouTube channel. But it goes a lot deeper. And I tell you, you're leaving money on the table if we're not using it in the right way. I'm going to show you a couple of things. Let's take, for example, something like TubeRanker. All right. Now, TubeRanker has a lot of cool tools. Let's take a look at some of the tools that it has. Right. It says tag generator, channel audit, keyword tool, rank tracker, tag extractor, hashtag generator, title generator, description generator. Now, if we think about what TubeBuddy does, it has a lot of cool stuff to it. Promises that. But it doesn't go as deep as, let's say, TubeRanker could. And when we're building a business, we want to include so many other possibilities. Let me give you an example. So let's say, for example, for your tools that you're using now, you're using them simply for trying to rank, trying to get monetization on YouTube. And that's where we start thinking and believing and knowing that we're leaving too much money on the table because that's not the biggest part of the business. What if you don't get to a level of 500,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers or million subscribers? And as a result of that, you're not making any money. Now, YouTube is doing everything they can to try to make these, you know, little YouTube channels go. But I'm saying forget about having to have subscribers in the first place. And I've done a couple videos on these. I'll try to leave them in the description field or somewhere around here. So what we're going to be concentrating on is how we can build a business using these tools and do things that nobody's even thinking about. I guarantee you they're not thinking about this stuff. Here it is. So one, let's go and I'm going to be talking about probably five ways that you can utilize and leverage TubeBuddy and TubeRanker beyond just trying to get into some YouTube stuff. Okay. Each one is going to do you some keyword research, right? They excel at that kind of stuff. But imagine if in the book writing space that we are able to identify relevant keywords and topics for our book. Now, if we can do that, then we can ensure that we target very specific audiences and maximize discoverability. That becomes a key thing, right? So I'm going to take a look here. And if we're on Amazon and other platforms, we want to make sure that we can get discovered. Also, using these tools, we can analyze competitor books and understand their keyword strategies because we're going to grab out some of the keywords. We're going to maybe use some AI tools find out what the keywords are and then say, okay, here's their strategy. Here's what I got. What can I do better? That becomes an opportunity. This is business building everybody. So now what about e-course creation? Think about e-courses. If we can create e-courses and we can determine the most searched for topics within a niche, we can create a really relevant and in-demand e-course. That's one of the key things. What about newsletters? Now, think about it. Book writing, video creation, e-course creation, newsletters, blogs, all these kind of things. Let's get into newsletters. Now, imagine this. If we can understand our audience's interests and craft things compelling to them right within our newsletter content, it'll resonate, keep them engaged, and then we can use these keywords that we're going to be utilizing from TubeRanker and TubeBuddy to get again great deliverability that is a key thing now keep in mind if we're going to be getting emails because of the newsletter first of all people have to find that darn newsletter and if we have used these other tools that are typically being used right now for just youtube we would be leaving money on the table and we're not going to do that i'm going to monetize your life guys so i'm going to show you how not to do that right so blog posts what about that blog posts and website content. Now, one of the key things that we often don't think about is what to put on our websites. Well, our websites should have absolute relevant keywords. Why? Because if people are searching for things, it helps them find our website. It doesn't matter if you're using some YouTube or some AI stuff to build your websites and all this fancy, fancy stuff, right? 
if nobody knows where it is, it doesn't matter. And if we can't get people to our websites, we get no traffic, we get no eyeballs, we can't run ads, all that kind of stuff, right? So we're going to use these tools again in ways that are so non-traditional that you know people aren't thinking about them. And this is how we can absolutely win at this game of creating a business, not just using these tools, paying that money every month, and then having them fall flat if you're video doesn't do well or somebody comes out with some better content or we're at the whim of an algorithm forget all that we're going to use these tools in ways that are just so cool and so interesting and uh, in ways that other people aren't doing and this is how we're going to win at the monetization game okay so here it is another one audience analysis what if we did some audience analysis using these tools tubebranker and tubebuddy to now get an idea of who is our target market. So understanding your target audience is crucial. It's gonna be crucial for creating any media empire. And I want us creating multiple media empires so that we can go out there and leverage those empires to make us money, right? So get this, a lot of them are just focused on YouTube. These audience insights, however, are gonna be gleaned from these tools and have that inform our strategies across all of these platforms for example we're going to go into we're going to be targeting book marketing we're going to identify our ideal reader we're going to look at their profiles understand our avatars and we're going to tailor those marketing strategies to them in the e-course promotion what we're going to do is we're going to take the targets in our marketing campaign to a very specific demographic and their interest based on guess what not heart, not soul, but data. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna collect that data. In our newsletter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna segment our email list based on the audience interest. Get this, audience interest, not ours. And tailor our messages for maximum impact. Social media marketing, here's a thing that we haven't talked about yet. How can we inform our social media strategy using these tools? Here's how we're going to understand our audience preferences and behaviors because these tools are designed to go out and see what people are searching for. Well, we're going to be using this to build our media empire right now. What about this one? Content optimization for maximum impact. Here's how we do that. We're going to show how each tool offers something unique. Now, I chose TubeBuddy and TubeRanker because TubeRanker is just super duper cheap, right? I mean, it's like, you know, 49 bucks for the year. Whereas uh, some of the bigger things like uh, view stats and one of 10 and all these different tools are like $49 a month. That's a lot of dough. And we're trying to build a business, not just rank on YouTube, right? Or not just get YouTube views. And keep in mind, that's everybody's game. They're using these tools in one specific way. But what we have done is we've figured out how to use these tools in all kinds of ways to build a business, not just monkey around over there on YouTube when YouTube is basically saying to you our algorithm is everything and you are not we're saying forget that we're gonna go ahead and build a business right we're gonna have these emails rocking we're gonna have these books rocking we're gonna have our social media rocking we're gonna have our e-courses rocking we're gonna leverage these tools like crazy competition isn't doing this everybody so you get a leg up I'm gonna be teaching more on this later on in monetize your life Academy but for right now Think about the competitive analysis that we can create from this and allow this to give us a strategic advantage. That's the key here, everybody. We're gonna be diving into this even more. I want you to stick around. If you're seeing this on YouTube, go ahead and hit, hey, I love this. Look down in the description field because I'm offering all kinds of cool stuff and things that you can do to start thinking about how you can win, not just at the game on YouTube but this game of building this media empire and using this synergistic approach to buddy to ranker the tools that you have i'm going to show you how to use any one of the tools you have to extend past what it's designed to do that's the key and i look forward to showing you all this stuff so jump on in and let's get started